<laughs> right off the bat. That taste of Thai. That's two in a row. <laughs> so I just, I can't believe I just saw that email. <laughs> they didn't tell me about it. They know who they are watching right now. Their, their stomach just dropped. <laughs> Golly. I mean, we appreciate suggestions. <laughs> yeah. I was really thinking it was going to be like a topic. Yeah. Well, what blew my mind about that email, it was formatted as if it were a topic. Like, hey, here's a professional opinion. So, like, yeah, they know they, what they're doing. They could have very easily just been like, hey, like the other set looked better. But no, they needed yeah. to put their own little in there. Yeah. The little weird little fetish stuff. Listen, we didn't respond to you. And we're sorry about that. But it's just like almost like uh I don't know what to say. Yeah, what do you what do you say to I'm sorry my toes don't wiggle on camera anymore. Yeah, I mean they're wiggling right now but you can't see them. Yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes I used to remember sometimes when I would get real comfortable, I would put my feet right here. And now yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> But we just wanted to know, uh, this set is expensive. Spent a lot of money on this. And uh, it's better for us conversationally. So yeah. we got to we gotta keep it going, you know? Mm -hmm. But thank you for watching the podcast. Yeah. There we go. Addressed. Addressed. <laughs> I've been seeing some crazy stuff this week. <laughs> We're going to still be seeing. <laughs> I was driving down 98 and I, this was yesterday. Mm-hmm. There was obviously a mother and pushing a baby cart in the middle of 98, like in a turn lane. What? When there, and it was like right in front of the, or right by the Wendy's. Yeah. Like I know it's, it's a quarter mile to any residential areas. Yeah. Yeah. Or, and like a crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you take your baby across 98 like that? Yeah. That's weird. Where were they? Yeah. You should be arrested. Mm hmm. That's messed up. It's completely messed up. So I get a little closer. Oh, no. You know, there's, like, stuff that happens, and you're like, man, that's weird. And then it just all of a sudden becomes just, what? Like, mm. even more. It was already weird before. Yeah. It was like a like a fake <laughs> kid. No. It, like, but it was real. It was a real kid. It was okay. huge. <laughs> like a big, fat baby. Like, huge. Huge. Wow. Kid in this cart, like way oversized for this cart, but it yeah. looked like the right age for the cart, but just way oversized. Interesting. Like it's only been fed <laughs> hormonal chicken. Yeah. Oh my, that's she was going to Wendy's, huh? So I was like, I was driving, I was like, oh, what the hell? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> like really quick, just like that, it was just blowing my mind. Just the mom? Rail thin mom. Oh my gosh. Rail thin mom, massive baby. That's Maybe weird. she stole it. She could have stole it. It's her way of panhandling. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she might. She tried to make the baby super big and fat so people will get more money because it's cute. Yeah, yeah. That was probably what it was. And then today, this guy was looking at milk and Win Dixie, <laughs> like that motherfucker's tall. Mm -hmm. There was a center, center thing that was Drinking blocking milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that baby was. <laughs> yeah. And he's on a fucking hoverboard. No. One of the mixes between like a hoverboard and a uh, <laughs> oh my what's god the Segway yeah so it has like the center thing but it doesn't come all the way up right right yeah. it's just he's looking at milks just rocking back and forth oh my and gosh. I'm just watching him throughout the store while I'm getting my toilet paper and stuff yeah what the heck and he obviously is shopping faster than me yeah <laughs> <laughs> he it. I go to check out and he's in one of the checkout lines and he's leaning way over. Yeah, or, like going to reach in his cart to put it on the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. Still on, and I'm his... like, he's not on that. Like he's not on it still. Yeah, he's not only on it. He is one footing it like a fucking single leg RDL, balancing like that, Whoa. picking shit out of his cart, just slightly rolling it back and forth. Damn. And I'll put up a video. I got a video of him going back to his car. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> What? I wonder if he's only on that thing. Oh, dude. Just He was like way better at that than we could ever be. That's pretty cool. Was he in good shape? Uh, was he, just... he wasn't like obese. Yeah. He was an old guy too. Huh. 
That's kind of cool. I'm telling you, dude, this, he was leaning at a fucking 45 on that one footing, that thing. <laughs> Picking up weight and, like, putting it on. Jeez, dude. It was pretty cool. Those things are scary, man. I've eaten shit on those so many times. Yeah. That video of Mike Tyson falling on it. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the the it meme looks, and they put it. Spinal. <laughs> spinal. It looks like he really hurt himself, but he was fine. Yeah, of course. He's just completely fine. Mm -hmm. Just a brick. Mm -hmm. Just a human brick. <laughs> the hardest Jeez. slam that anyone's ever had. Yeah. Besides the people that died on him. But. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. You see some weird stuff in Gulf Breeze. Like, not so much place. Not so much in Gulf Breeze proper, but down, like, 98. Oh, the further down 98 you go, the more it's like, whoa. What is going on over here? Yeah, it's a good spot. Mm-hmm. Have you been seeing all the the hubbub about those guys, the fishermen cheaters? Oh, yeah. We got weights. <laughs> Why is that? That I mean, I don't want to diminish it, but it's funny that it's such a... A big deal. Yeah. It's a huge deal. I think it's because everyone... I don't know because I feel like people get caught... People have been caught cheating in fishing tournaments before. Right. Why was that one... Something about the walleyes. Yeah, some yeah. But apparently there was like thirty thousand dollars that they would have won, like that the first place winner. I think uh, he's or worth of stuff or something. I think that guy has won a lot of tournaments. I think that's why. And they're yeah, they're like questioning all of his wins mm -hmm. now. I think that's what it is. Like he's like I think he makes a living doing that or something. So yeah, I was on Lake Erie in Pennsylvania. Oh, that a, was on Lake Erie. Yeah, a walleye <laughs> tournament for people that don't know. And these guys got first place, and the the weigher was like, these fish are like the same size as this other guy's fish, but they weigh so much more. Yeah. They were putting eight-ounce weights and fish fillets and stuffing their stomachs. That's so stupid. And today, the cops went and seized their vessel. De what? So it's like the biggest deal ever. It's like a fucking FBI operation now. Oh, my. <laughs> for they fucking, seized their for vessel. For bass. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous it's national news <laughs> yeah they, i saw that on every single possible part yeah i mean that ripped hurricane ian right off the fucking yep, network i didn't even, <laughs> I did. <laughs> this one fish <laughs> yeah. we got weights we got weights. And all the guys there they're like fucking kill them. call the cops <laughs> kill them. he's like I, I want these guys i want you to leave right now Nobody touch them yeah. on their way out. <laughs> he had to be super stern about it. Like, yeah, they yeah. were about to get their asses beat. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess they, they've they definitely done it before. I wonder how much money they've stolen. Dude, and I'm pretty sure they're, like, pretty well-respected <clears throat> fishermen in that area. And when, like, fishing's your life, like, that's, like, your everything, right? Yeah. Is, like, how respected you are and regarded mm -hmm. and, like... Well, it's just, it's fishing. It's such a fun, and like, leisurely thing. Yeah, like, it's yeah, like yeah. you're cheating at it. It's like, dude. It's so fucked up. It's like up. cheating at a little league game. But now, like, if they were, if that was their source of income, and yeah. then, like, plus, like, taking people fishing, and that's where they got, no one's, like, like they're fucked. Yeah. Yeah, they're done. They have to learn to code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something. They can't go outside anymore in Lake Erie. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. They might get killed. They seriously might. There's if if they find out that they cheated in past ones, oh yeah, they're dead. Yeah, but well, since they didn't take anything away from anyone on this time, like there's it's yeah. not that crazy. Other than fuck them, there's no way to prove that they cheated in the past, though. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's like maybe if there's like pictures of all the other fish and his are the same exact size, but way heavier. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you definitely. You yeah, I mean, they're definitely documented. You obviously couldn't get those fish again and reach in to see if they're weights but mm -hmm. i don't know if they're taking picture of every walleye walleye <laughs> that someone catches so. <laughs> i mean for how serious this is yeah. maybe there's a picture of every one there of might them. be maybe walleye is the hardest fish to catch yeah i don't i didn't even know walleye were a fish until yeah. you said maybe that last that year they thought that they were extinct <laughs> <laughs> And now he's stuffing them with weights. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, that is weird, though. I never thought about that, how huge that story got. But it, Absol And it's still just running, dude. Uh -huh. YouTube, Snapchat. But it works because I see that video and I watch it every time. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm watching this. They know. They dude, know. that's just like a shared human thing. Like a cheater gets caught. Yep. Fuck that guy. Yep. Pound it. Uh-huh. Beat yeah. his ass. Beat his ass. 
Especially with fishing, though. That's just fucked. It's, yeah. It's like, come on, dude. It's terrible. It's literally like paying off a ref. It's like paying off an ump in a Little League game. That's what it's like. It's even worse, almost. Right, right. It's like, dude, really? Yeah, big thing to come with the Little League sports book still. <laughs> That's right. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Trumpump.com. We're going to have to, yeah. The, oh, there's a fucking Trump. <laughs> you know who randy johnson is i that's a name randy johnson he's like the pitcher the really famous okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. mlb yeah. pitcher he's an nfl photographer now so like if you watch any nfl game and look really close you'll see randy johnson with like lens about this big on the on the sideline interesting Isn't that weird so what do you think that is? You think he always had a passion for yes. photography or he always wished he was an he NFL went, player? He went to college for photojournalism and he would do it before he started playing before he started playing baseball. Mm. And then he retired in 2010 and he's done it ever since. He's just at the NFL game. What a perfect life for him. Mhm. Mm you think when he was pitching in MLB he secretly was yearning to be on the sidelines? Taking <laughs> 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 <In> pictures. <laughs> Man, man, I'm, I'm making too much money. Yeah, I'm making too much money. This is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home tonight and cycle through ten thousand photos. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude, people that love that shit love that shit. Oh yeah, more than anything. Yeah, he's... Dave is one of them. Yeah, man, it's fun. I can see how it's fun, but it's like you gotta have the. the... It's gotta be your niche. Yeah, you know. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Did you see the recent video of that guy who rode out Hurricane Ian on a sailboat? No. How big were the waves? It was insane. There were yachts coming, like, unanchored out of marinas and stuff, just missing his boat by that much. And he's Why? just filming it. Why? He just, just wanted to ride it out. <laughs> and then, he, like, after he went around helping people, I was like, dude, you should not be driving your vessel around there. You don't know what's sticking up out of the water and shit. Yeah. So whatever. But then he, he like, shared some photos of him. Like, it was still gnarly outside, but the eye had passed. Yeah. He was just pounding a handle at Tito's. Oh, it's no. like, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> About halfway through. <laughs> yeah. Holy Yeah, God. he got a lot of, like, good video. That's cool. I mean, I guess if you're in that circumstance, I guess if you're not from here, you don't realize if he does sink his boat, there's about a hundred thousand other boats he can just go start driving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you can just go find one that still works. Yeah, one of the videos there was a you know the floating docks. Mm -hmm. where you can, like they make them for boats too, but it's common for wave runners. Yeah, and just two sea dudes were just floated up to his boat and stopped. I was like, you hop on one of those. Yeah. They're in this Ain't yeah. no one coming to get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're clear. Everyone, every boat in that video is a paycheck. Yeah. An insurance Insurance, check. yeah. Not quite as much as the boat's worth, probably, and I, still. Yeah. Especially just because you, you have to, ugh, boats just cost so much money. Mm -hmm. It's never as much as it was when you bought it. It's always you put more because well, you got to fix it and get it repaired yeah, yeah there's always stuff expensive. you want mm -hmm. to add oh yeah bust out another thousand baby mm -hmm. boat i'm talking a little i i realize i am talking a little deeper than i usually do and the reason why is because my esophagus is still damaged from throwing up the chip <laughs> I went about three hours, to, just for y'all to know. Well, I went the full hour. I drank water at the hour and then laid down. He really did make it an hour. I laid Seriously. And I laid down for two hours in excruciating pain, like almost was thinking about going to the hospital. I was like, if it gets any worse and persists, I have to go to the hospital because like something's wrong. And like two hours of just excruciating pain, I threw all of the heat up again. My mouth started burning again, but my stomach felt better. But my esophagus, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I have no falsetto voice. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to talk deep. But this is a. I'm enjoying this podcast. <laughs> it feels weird not being in pain. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, I felt real bad. I felt so bad. I, I got videos of you puking, but it was just. It was sad. It was sad pukes. Mm hmm. It's like, oh, that guy's really hurting. <laughs> yeah, it was stupid. I mean, 98% of the time, vomiting is hilarious. Mm -hmm. That was like, bad. Especially after you take a shot mm -hmm. and you see your buddy like... 
Yeah, he, he's going oh down. Oh my god, I'm getting the best Snapchat in ten seconds right now. <laughs> but yours was just yours was bad. It was bad. Well, and the thing, someone needs to look into the anyone who's done the one chip challenge out there. See, see if you agree with me. Like, the burn in your gut is ten times worse than the burn in your mouth. Like, I think. Like it was, it's like whoa! Like, could they not engineer something to just skip the whole gut burn? Because like I could probably go like twice as hot, maybe three times as hot in the mouth and be fine still. Yeah. But the gut was like I'm not. I can't do another chip challenge unless they fix that. Well, you you raw dogged it so hard. Yeah, last you time did I the Pepto Bismol last time. Last time I did, I drank a lot of Pepto Bismol beforehand. Yeah, you got to coat the tummy. That's where I messed up. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like it would be a bigger thing of people like being like, "Don't eat these" because of the stomach pain. Because it was like, "Whoa, like yeah. something's not right." <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god, dude. That was that was a rough night for you. <laughs> yeah, it was only like three hours, and I was fine. Yeah. Once I threw it up, it was like okay. It was instant. Just like a lot came up because I drank a. I drank a lot of water in those two hours, and then it just, whoa. Nice, And I was nice. like, there it went. It's time to go to bed. And it was green. <coughs> I guess. Gross. Why did it turn green? I guess because oh, it just... turns your tongue blue and your stomach is yellow. Like, bile is yellow. So it just mm. turned to green. <laughs> Science. Yeah, color stuff. <laughs> it's color stuff. So I found out that apparently you can check your pro- the level of your propane tank by pouring hot water on it. How? So you fill up a cup with hot water, you pour it on there, on the- and wherever the like the propane is, the, mm. the like the rest, like the empty part, the top part will be warm, and then as soon as it gets cold, that's where the level is. Oh, it just propane because it, it just absorbs all the heat out of the water when right. it hits the propane, huh? So you just pour water and then feel, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, we needed to test it. Yeah, that's really cool. That's super useful. Yeah. Yeah, you go to cook a freaking $100 steak, and you got this much. You don't know how much propane you have left, and you run out. Dude, the shake test is tough. I don't even know what that is. How do you know? It's a gas. I know, but it's in there. Like, it sloshes still. It's really weird. Yeah. But it's hard to remember how heavy the empty propane tank was mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're, you're just like, like i think i feel it i think it's in there but it's only it's happened to me twice in my life since i've started cooking steaks on the grill where you ran out yeah and yeah. it's like oh you gotta go fire up the stove yeah mm-hmm. yeah it really sucks i don't know if we can add this into the video i'm sure we can but do you like the blue angels yeah, like the Blue Angels, probably. I don't think I've showed you this, have I? No, yeah, you did. God dang it, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the person that sent me that, I asked them. So this will be interesting. We don't have to show the, the picture. We can just describe it. It's just a, it's, it's a pornographic image of a Blue Angel jet. That's what it is. It's a humanized Blue Angel jet. But I asked the person who sent it to me, I was like, where did you find that? Like, what is that? And there's this, there's actually a culture of people. They're called aeromorphs. And they literally, there's like thousands of images of like aircraft that are like. Have tits. That have tits and look like hot chicks, but they still look like aircraft. And there's like helicopters and stuff. And like every, every possibility. Do you people can, like beat it to that? Oh, yeah. This is, yeah. <laughs> there's like, a, there's like a, a subreddit. It's like r slash aeromorphs. Go check it out. Is everything that exists on the planet, there is a pornographic version of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You think it's more common in the military? I don't know. Probably. That's that's messed up, though, because it's like you could be a pilot and one of your little electronics techs could just be spanking it. <laughs> You, know, yeah. or you don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, because, yeah, there's people who, like, remember the guy who married his car? It was, like, a Discovery Channel show about it. And he would, like... No. He, like, married his car or whatever, and they they showed, like, this video. 
and he's like washing it and like i think it was a beetle like a bug and it, you know they have like the cre the crevices in between the headlight he was like oh and like washing it and it was weird man and pumping the tailpipe probably they didn't couldn't show it because it was like public television but yeah oh i got something in my left eye all right we're good <laughs> yeah yeah man that's people are cool <laughs> <laughs> which which aircraft would you be most sexually attracted to if you had to pick one <laughs> I feel like it all makes me feel kind of gay. Yeah, they're very masculine objects. Yeah, and that's why I think... Just I a know. flying cylinder. <laughs> just a flying phallus. Yeah, AC-130s. <laughs> yeah. Just a good Boeing 737. Yeah, that's, there we go. Just the biggest penis. The one, yeah. yeah. Because I've been inside of one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> like that episode of The Boys... Which the two gay dudes, and it's the one superhuman or super powerful person. <laughs> Fuck, do you call him superhero? Oh, oh like in the soups, show. Uh, soups. soups. He's a fuck. Yeah, he's the soup, and he's having sex with the dude, and he's mm -hmm. like, "Time to go in," and he's the one who shrinks himself all the way yeah. down, and he goes in, and I would that feel good? Having something in your penis tickling no. the inner walls of your dick? It would not feel good. Well, the guy was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then the tickler inside sneezes, then becomes fully a human again. <laughs> and it just, just explodes the dude. <laughs> <laughs> that show's so good. It's so good. It's so good, dude. There's nothing like it. When's the new season coming out? I don't know. The, well, didn't they have like years between these seasons or like a year? At it least? was at least a year. Yeah. yeah. God, I hate that. I know. Well, we're we're fucked with this whole streaming. Like we're so used to just immediate satisfaction. Oh yeah, you're right. I guess but it in is regular life back in the day. That's like completely normal. It was every it was week. Like, dang, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be so fun to watch. Now mm -hmm. it's like, fuck yeah, I need all of it now. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, because they got it. I guess yeah, because they they do a good show. You can't pay for like three or four seasons of a show if you don't know if people are going to like it. Right. So you got to film it, and then if people like it and it takes off, you've already stopped filming for years, probably, or like at least a year. Yeah, yeah. And then now you got to get everyone back, route everyone back up, right. and get everything going. We got the money. Yeah. We can do it. So I get it. But with the, a show like that, after the first season was so successful, I feel like they probably had like five seasons shot already. Maybe not. I don't know. But I, it more there's more shot than we think there is with shows that become huge like that on the first season. I bet, and they just like, I would think so. Do you think like Hollywood? They definitely are. But I wonder what the mechanism is with like movies and big shows like that. Like the production companies, all the head guys are probably in cahoots, right? To where they all sit down and go have lunch or something, and they're like, "All right, you're gonna release your movie this time. I'm gonna do this time." Do you think they have a method to it, or do you think individual studios kind of are just like, like you know, we're going to release this on this day when we want, and if someone else is going to compete with us, and they're going to compete with us, you know what I'm talking? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you got Warner Brothers, Fox. I don't know. There's all a bunch of them, but they probably. Do you think they all work together to be like, okay, like you get, you get you know june for your big marvel movie we're gonna get july for this big f new star wars movie it just hasn't seemed like it is like that yeah i don't know because there'll be like one summer where three awesome fucking movies come out yeah and they'll often like cross over of them being in the theaters that's true so i mean my, my guess would be they look to see what is projected to come out in their time frame that they were thinking about and then like oh we probably don't want to drop this on the same exact day yeah you know that's true yeah they that but then make... there's the studios and then all the producers and stuff go in between i'm pretty sure like have worked for different mm -hmm. studios and everything like that yeah i don't I... know is, is that a thing where directors are like have contracts with a studio i think they have like they can't work i don't think they can work for like two at the same time maybe but i yeah, think it would not. it would be stupid to just sign your as a director to sign yourself to one yeah yeah for sure
I don't know. But most of Quentin Tarantino's movies were made by Heine, Weinstein and company. Mm-hmm. Harvey Weinstein. They were buds. And they were homies. Hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah, man. I thought that something was weird. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I just... <laughs> that was but all a... the guys were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good impression. <laughs> he's a weird guy. Yeah, he's the best. He is the best. I wonder what his last. He's only making one more. Don movie. Harvey. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we're no, talking Quinn. about Quinn. You're talking They're about Quinn. Quinn. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I never met him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I never met the guy. I ain't going to speak ill about him. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin's supposedly only going out with one more movie. Yeah. wonder what it's going to be about. Yeah, that was his plan for since the beginning of time. He was only going to do a set amount. It's ten movies, I think. Yeah. And he does have ten out, but if you count Kill Bill Volume 2. Well, yeah, two. he's not counting Kill Bill Volume 2. Yeah. That rascal. A smart man. Yeah, he's smart. Let's talk about Bullet Train. <laughs> oh, that was bad, dude. What the hell, dude? I don't know. That pissed me off, though. What? I mean, obviously, Brad Pitt, he did okay, but he just did it. It's like, okay, he just wanted money. Like, he just did this for a check. I but mean, that's then, what it seemed like. That's what it was. Like, pff, you, you think they're going to interview, but there's no way he does an interview with a straight face, and he's like, yo, he's really passionate about this movie. Yeah. What? No. He's like, my favorite line was when I said, shit balls. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brad Pitt doesn't say shit balls. No, dude. It's weird. I think it's just like they're trying to appeal too much to the, the younger, like, the internet generation. I don't know, dude. Was, but dude, maybe it's gonna be like Nope, and this is just a blockbuster fucking hit. I know, yeah. Uh, I never saw Nope, but I kind of know what it was about. It was about like absurd. Oh, it was a big Nope. It's just about absurdity, right? In cinema. Pretty. I mean, yeah. That everyone's winning like fucking Oscars and shit for it. That acted in it, which the acting was like it was good. Yeah. The movie just didn't make sense to me. I just, it just didn't. Really? But maybe because I'm small minded. True. Well, no, I heard. Well, no, the reason I, I, I hated it. The, yeah, yeah. The reason I said what I. The reason I said. I thought you were talking about. Because apparently. I don't know if this is true. Apparently, Nope is about the way. Is about how absurdity in cinema is the way we're going. And calling it Nope is supposedly Jordan Peele saying, no, like we shouldn't go this route with movies. Really? That's Yeah, because I thought that's what you were just talking about. That's what I heard. Or it's just a bad movie and someone that's made That's a cover up. And that's a cover up. Yeah. So I don't know. Also, speaking of movies and such, apparently Will Smith is coming back. Of course. With a banger. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. I'll find out what it's called. Oh, hang on. Is he a slave? He's a slave, isn't it? Isn't he a slave in it? Uh... It's called Emancipation. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> God. So he's about to win everybody's hearts back. He and it's going to be all fine. Yeah. I don't want to not like Will Smith. So I that left a little sour apple in my butt. <laughs> a little you know? slap on Chris Rock. I love him though. Yeah, he, he's a good guy. I think like, damn it. I don't think there was any of that was real. I think that whole slap was like... Did you see the this... I don't know how this could be curated or whatever, but there was a video of the exact same thing happening at an award show in the 80s. Interesting. Just this, and I don't, It could be completely fake, but I'm having trouble comprehending how it could have been faked. Yeah. I. It wasn't even... It, it was the exact thing where the comedian was talking about the person's wife. Mm-hmm. In a similar context, just a little little roast. The guy says, shut the fuck up, walks up calmly, and has the exact same mannerisms with the slap. Like, it's kind of gay, like kind of a fruity slap, you know? Yeah. Like what he did? Yeah. The exact thing. That's weird. Yeah, the, I don't think, no one's, no one's going to change my opinion that that was fake. Uh, like, I think the whole thing was fake. Because... I watched it the first. The fir- it. Usually, the first time I watch something, I kind of just try to go with that initial gut reaction. And my initial gut reaction was like, "Okay, like that was a setup," just because of like Chris Rock. Like he saw him winding up for a slap, and he like didn't he didn't go away from it, 
and he kind of leaned into it like this. And then when Will Smith walked away, you can see him like fighting a smile, like he's smiling. I don't know. Like he didn't slap. Yeah. He didn't slap him out of that. If he were to actually do that, it would be he would be the most angry he's ever been in his entire life. Like that's just that would be a full rage slap. And he was just kind of like fighting back a grin. It's like, dude. Yeah, and you really think like it, he wouldn't press charges? Yeah. Like, no one pressed charges. We're sitting here talking about the whatever it was, the Oscars. We would never be talking about the Oscars if that didn't happen. Yeah. I didn't even know that it was on. Yeah, I didn't either. And then that slap happened, and it's like, oh, wow. Yeah, I think it was just some... I don't know, man. I don't believe it was real at all. And then, or at least, I mean, he may have actually slapped him. At least, there's a whole, there's about ninety nine percent of the story that we don't know. Like he didn't just go up there and slap him out of anger. No way. Like it wasn't unscripted. There was like, you know, like old Rocky was rocking the boots of Jada. It, yeah, kind of like the Capitol riots. <laughs> <laughs> There's the more. There's the more. To, insurrection. There's more to the story than what we're being told. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Alex Jones has to pay? I think they settled on like nine hundred and sixty million dollars to the Sandy Hook families. Does he have that? <laughs> I have no idea. And it's only like it was only like I don't know like maybe ten or twelve like families that that's going to. Yeah, watch the settlement. Just for like a severe defamation? Yeah. And harassment or whatever? Yeah. It was like 60 million to each one of the families. It was insane. I was like, what? That's so much money. Damn, that pretty heavily outweighs his hits. But that one miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big... Dude, that boy swings for the fucking fences. That's a big miss. You. Good God. 60 million a piece to the families, which I mean, I mean, their kids are dead, so you get 60 million is your kid worth 60 million? But Alex Jones didn't kill their kids. That's my whole thing. Yeah. I don't know what he did exactly. From yeah, I don't either. I, I don't know enough about it to have I an didn't, actual opinion. Yeah. The, the, the minuscule amount of research I've done on that very important topic. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> I guess what happened was, you remember how, well, I, I don't know if he still believes that the... Oh, that's a bigger topic than some walleye weights. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, <first. laughs> it is. You're right, it is. It's not front page news. Yeah. But these fucking walleyes in Lake Erie are for some reason. Yeah. It's almost a billion dollar settlement for... Yeah. And so I... 30 grand of fishing equipment. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> They're not even seasoned Alex's boat. No. <laughs> oh, he, they're seasoning everything he's yeah, got. They, they are. Good yeah, God. <laughs> I guess what happened was, you know how he was dead on, like, oh, the government did Sandy Hook. Like he was one hundred percent right certain of that. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was. I heard he, he was had certain. Insider now. I heard he was certain about that. <laughs> I guess what he did is he. I guess he like kind of sicked his followers on the families and was like calling the families like actors and like government paid actors and stuff or whatever. And so then his followers naturally took to the internet. They're like, you're right. you're all Satanist actors working for the government. That's what I think well, happened. Get offline. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Delete your Facebook. Yeah. You yeah, wouldn't yeah. have seen any of it. As far as, like, I don't know if anyone went to their houses or anything. That would change it. It would change it. I don't think they did, though. I think they only were getting cyber threats. So The, the Alex Erection. The Alex Erection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, just my unsolicited opinion, that's a way too much money. $60 million for someone getting cyber bullied. If they went to their house and like knocked on their door and were trying to come inside, okay, I can see $60 million. Yeah. yeah. But if not, that's way too much money. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's just my opinion, though. Wow. Yeah. Well, hopefully he gets another hit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
He needs to sell some, uh, what are those things called? The uh, tactical the tactical man wipes for, for wiping, yeah, your, yeah. wiping your ass when you're in the field. Yeah. <laughs> and he sells those. Yep. Dude, he sells some crazy stuff on his website. <laughs> yeah. It's like boner it's like boner supplements that they don't call boner supplements it's a lot of that kind of stuff alex erection <laughs> <laughs> alex bones <laughs> yeah, alex bones <laughs> damn there's no way he has a billion dollars right that fucker's crazy dude yeah i mean i don't know you never know with him i don't know <laughs> he could have two billion. He could have two. He could be fine. And this could just be a wet fart. Uh huh. <laughs> Jeez, I remember when he got kicked off of everything. That was a crazy time. He got kicked off of YouTube. Mm-hmm. But he still got his website just a rolling, killing it. I guess probably making more money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the settlement may have actually helped him. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just retaliating, donating more money to him. Yeah, for sure. His followers will ride with him. Yeah. And then if he just enters the next fucking fishing tournament, <laughs> he's going to be set for life. He's going to be yeah. good. <laughs> just head up to Lake Erie. Yeah, we need to keep up with that see what's going on with it. Yeah, we will. We'll report back to you guys. <laughs> we talk about nothing but important shit. The here. important matters. Yeah. We uh, we unpacked a lot today. Yeah, we did. Fast too. Yeah. I think we're definitely past thirty, I feel like. Yeah, no, I don't we're know. we're gooch. We can we can bounce out of here. Let's bounce, dude. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Please keep blowing up our music. We've got about how many thousand percent? We're up 58,000% in listens in the past few weeks. Yeah, so please keep it going. Ciao. Share the music, share the podcast. We're twice a week. Let's have a chat. <laughs> <laughs>